Hey, welcome back to Ice Age TV. Just knocked out this Bison Chevy Heavy Duty with a nice rollback cover. And you know what I'm doing now? I'm going to paint my rear tailpipe on this truck. It's a big ass exhaust for this diesel Duramax. And I just don't like that look. So I'm going to get some paint. And I've already cleaned up the surface of it. And I'm going to paint that. But you know what I learned the hard way? Do not paint anything in your shop with a spray paint because it will adhere to the surface of your vehicles. Ask me how I know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this truck outside and I'm going to get away from everybody and all my cars and other trucks and I'm going to do a paint job and let's see the before and after look. And I think this black, kind of a same color uh, matte finish will kind of look good for the truck. So stay tuned for the before and after on the Chevy Bison. Okay, it's time. I'm far away from everybody else. Some will be like, well, you dipstick. You're going to get the black stuff on your way, truck, you dummy. I don't think that'll happen, but it could. But anyways, here's the before and after look. And I'm going to crawl around this really crispy grass and, uh, and go to town and see how it looks. I think it'll look a lot better, personally. Well, we got the first coat on. Not too shabby, huh? I think it's really good. And actually what I'm doing is I'm painting up a little further up just to kind of hide that look and uh, just have more of the back end blacked out. Keithy Boy wants to participate. He's such a goofball. But yeah, I'll put like two, three coats on it. Then I'll probably start up the truck and maybe heat that up a little bit to help it cure faster. Maybe. Debatable. And no rain. I'm jumping in the pool here before long. Wow, what a day. What a day, Kiwi. Oh, the puppies. Wherever daddy goes, they go. Look at the puppies. Yeah, they're all hanging out with daddy. Beautiful afternoon. It's warm, but not too bad. Pond, can't get over on the pond lily pads. Have all come back. I, th I thought the nutrient ate them all. What a drag. And it is very dry. It's not breaking my heart too much because I'm going to cut the damn grass. But do I lose some trees? I don't know. That'll be a bummer. I went around watering them with the tractor the other day. Do I have to do it again? Maybe. But yes, way down here, I'm not worried. If you don't know the story, that Camaro Z28 in my garage, there's like, like orange paint in the black paint. And it looks orange. And I have no idea where it came from. But one of my subscribers said, I bet you it came from you painting that cardboard image of your Gold Rush Challenger, which was like a fluorescent uh, orange, yellow, fluorescent yellow that I painted that cardboard to make it look like a cutout of the Challenger. And I did that at the shop. And this possible that fluorescent uh, yellow paint got into that damn Camaro. It did. You can see it. Such a bummer. That was just so stupid of me to do that. I've done some stupid things. Had my grinder in the shop, cut metal, destroyed my front and left window of my Mustang uh, Dark Horse. What a joke. And they want over a $1,000 at Coon Sterling Ford, Coons, Coon Silver Spring Ford, to replace that. Even the service guys, like, just call Safe Late. They'll probably be at like six, seven hundred bucks. It's like, yeah, I eventually I will. So, uh, it's always about you being paranoid of your car getting damaged by somebody else. And the odds are you'll damage it yourself. Damage it yourself. That's what happens. All right. Let me uh, get in our coat of this stuff on here. It's very hot out. So it's setting up pretty pretty quick. What a beautiful scene for the heavy-duty truck that's out here in the wilderness, right? Isn't this where the bison's supposed to be? Yes. All right, let's see how the bison's doing. Very funny. One of the uh, viewers on the channel says that paint on that pipe won't last a day. Well, if you watch my channel, this Ram truck, when I bought it last year or the year before, whatever, and it had the exact same looking pipe, and I got some good old rust-oleum paint, and I painted it, 
And let's go over here and look at it right now to see if this person feels like they're telling me I'm wasting my time. So here's the pipe. And uh, not too shabby if you ask me, considering, um, I mean, the paint, the most part's on there. It's just dirty. So I did that looked exactly like that other truck. If I go up further, you may be able to see how it was that lighter color uh, pipe. We could use a touch up, but it'll last because when you start that truck, that exhaust pipe gets hot and it really bonds that paint even more to the surface. I could, some ways, I thought you should have a truck running. That way, it's got a hot pipe and maybe the paint even sticks better. It's so hot out today. I just have a hard time leaving this stuff won't really adhere to that really well. Let's go check it out. Up, oh, up, oh, keep, don't get on my pipe. No, 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 stay away from that, goofball. So here it is. I've got two coats on it. And uh, I think it looks pretty good, personally. How does it feel? It's still a little tacky. So I'm going to set it up a little longer. Give it a little while. I'm going to put our coat on later. That'll be the goal. I got all the hot rods in the garage now by Gold Rush with it cleaned up. This thing looks so good. It really is to me just a really beautiful car. How many of these you see floating around? I know. It is interesting how these cars have lost such value, but someone would still steal it. And so, in the front clip, I guess I rubbed against something pretty bad. It's, these front splitters are so hard to maintain. So, car I mean this car is like brand new and this is a car that I've been very fortunate where nothing really major happened to it and you see I switched places with the Hellcat and this Camaro this Camaro really needs to be tucked in its own own personal area now this paint under this light yeah I mean you can see that orange that fluorescent paint something orange of overspray got into this paint look at that what a shame i'll have to have this car professionally detailed to really probably get that out what a just really a shame but oh well it's a beautiful car i love it and uh i mean yeah if you're trying to sell this car and flip it you really screwed yourself i don't want to sell the car the car is too uh too rare too nice that car one of the subscribers just reached out and he's like which would you keep and i think it was the help desk subscriber and he's like the mustang dark horse or the z28 the z28 that's not replaceable you can still go buy a mustang dark horse so and even the gold rush you know what should i keep that i mean that would be very challenging because these are both now not really replaceable yeah i hear you got the collection here i really want to jump in the pool but i'm maintaining the uh camp right now getting water in it taking care of some uh, maintenance on it and it's just always a project here at ice age tv which i enjoy i don't want to sit around i really want to jump in the pool to cool down and get a little leisure time and just take a little chill pill the kid's gone and uh oh there's my neighbor that moved out of their house whatever they're moving back i doubt it now the poor corvette's getting ditched right not necessarily if I put two of these motorcycles in that trailer, then I really would free up the room here for the Corvette or the uh, Dark Horse to come into the shop. I know, it's a paint video. It's me never ending stopping talking to you on my YouTube channel, which I enjoy. And uh, a lot of people are reaching out. Appreciate all the comments. So let's go check on the camper. And there she is. I put about four coats of paint on her. I think she's good to go. I think she looks good. I mean, I know that'll last. No doubt in my mind. That Rust-Oleum, this is good stuff, man. This stuff does last. So I think a huge difference in the back end of the look of the truck. Much cleaner. Flows with all the blacked out package. So there it is, everybody. I think that uh, that was a great idea. And if you're out there, you can do the same thing. Not that hard. Just be sure you clean off the surface with a real good... Uh, uh, cleaner and if you do that it's what's it I'm trying to think of the name of the uh what's it c or whatever i can't think of the name of that 
that paint uh, product that you use to get the metal surface all prepped. And so uh, you can get it at your parts store, Home Depot. So if you prep the metal surface correctly, then you'll be all right. I'll show you a picture of it in my shop. But once again, I think this stuff's gonna be great. It's gonna last, no doubt in my mind. And I think just another feature that personalizes this truck for me, because so far if what I've done to this truck is the, uh, the bed um, cover, the bed rug, uh, tinted out the windows, and did the uh, front window strip. And I really want to put a nice winch on this thing. I think that'd be cool. It'd be neat if I could find some pretty cool uh, mud flaps, splash guards. I'd like that. And the, oh yeah, that's right. And the, uh, the, the hood, the hood uh, wrap. I think that's really made this truck special to me. And I don't think I have to do a lot more to it. I don't think I'll get put bigger tires. I don't think that's not worth it. The truck runs great the way it is. Could 37s fit? You know, maybe. But I think it looks good. And these are very expensive tires. I mean, you go about 37 inch tires, you're going to be talking conservative. I guarantee you $2,000. And to have them mounted and balanced. So, no thank you. The truck looks beautiful. I love it. And uh, I still have to cut out this back area for the uh, step, which that's something that I need to work on. If you look here, this here is all one piece. And to have a step, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to fabricate this area here, which I'm not too worried about that right now. But the bed cover really came on great. I really like it. So uh, just again, it's time to go jump in the pool, I think. I think that's that time of the day. To chill out, to watch my channel, tune in for the morning conversations where I take a word of the day and turn into the cars and trucks and motorcycles and the theme of the uh, the state of times we're in and try to keep it not too radical. That's the goal. So thanks again for watching my channel. God bless.